Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this question, for a shop, we are given a string of customers consisting only of characters and and y. If the ith character is y, that means customers come at the ith hour. And if the character is n, that means no customer comes at the ith hour. If the shop closes at a particular hour, then the penalty is calculated as for every hour the shop is open and no customer comes then the penalty is incremented by 1 and for every hour the shop is closed and a customer comes then the penalty is also incremented by 1 and we have to return the earliest hour at which the shop must be closed to incur the minimum penalty let's understand this question with the help of an example as per this string no customer comes at the 0th hour customers come at the first and the second hour and no customer comes at the third hour. As per the question, the shop can close at any hour from 0 till 4. If the shop closes at the 0th hour, then for all these hours there will be no activity. And in this case, the shop will be missing out on 2 hours when the customers come. Hence, the penalty would be 2. And if the shop closes at the second hour, there will be no activity for hour 2 and 3. In this case, we will be opening the shop at the 0th hour when no customer comes and we will be missing out on serving customers at the 2nd hour. So the penalty will be 2. Let's try to come up with a solution for this. Let's consider this string. There are 6 characters, hence the number of hours is 6. And we can close the shop at these hours. There are total 7 closing hours. In general, there will be n plus 1 closing hours. And the closing hours can be in the range from 0 till 6. Let's try to visualize this problem in a different way. Let's consider both y and n to be customers. And y represents a good customer with purchases from the shop. And n represents a bad customer which does not purchase anything from the shop. So we should be trying to maximize the time open for the good customers and minimize the time open for bad customers. And the penalty in this case for closing the shop at a particular hour would be the sum of the number of good customers that we won't be able to serve if we close the shop now and the number of bad customers that we have already served until now. For example, if we close the shop at the second hour, then we'll be missing out on serving these two good customers. And we would have also served one bad customer prior to closing our shop. Hence, the penalty would be 3. If we close the shop at the fifth hour, then we'll be missing out on serving one good customer. And we would have already served two bad customers. The penalty in this case would be 3. If we close the shop at the 0th hour, we will miss out on serving all the good customers. But in this case, we wouldn't have served any bad customer. Hence, the penalty would be 3. On the other hand, if we close the shop at the 6th hour, we won't miss out on serving any good customer. But we would have served all the bad customers. The penalty would be 3. Let's see how we can come up with a general solution using an example. We can notice that there are three good customers who come to the shop. If we close the shop at the third hour, there will be one good customer on the right. We can figure that out by keeping track of the number of good customers that we have served so far. We have served two good customers. Hence one good customer will remain unserved. We also have to keep track of the bad customers that we have served. We could add these two and calculate the penalty. And we have to do this for all the hours starting from 0 till n and keep track of the minimum penalty and its hour. The time complexity of this would be we have to go through the string to find the good customers and then we have to go through a for loop for all the hours to check the minimum penalty. This would take O of n. And the space complexity would be constant. Let's implement our solution. Let's keep a variable to store the number of customers. Let's keep a variable to find the good customers and initialize it with 0. 
we have to go through all the characters in our string and if that character is y then we'll have to add one to the number of good people let's initialize the minimum penalty with the length of the customers and let's initialize the hour at which the shop closes to be n let's keep two variables to keep track of the good and the bad customers found and initialize them to be zero now we'll check for all the hours in the range from 0 till n. If the shop closes now, then the number of good customers remaining would be the total number of good customers minus the number of good customers served so far. And the penalty would be the sum of the good customers remaining and the bad customers served so far. And we'll check if the penalty for this hour is less than the minimum penalty found so far. Then we'll update the closing hour to be the current hour. We'll also update the minimum penalty to be the current penalty. After this, we'll check if the customer for this hour is n. Then we'll increment bad customer served by 1. Please note that we are adding a condition to check that our index is not exceeding the length of our string. This is because the range for the closing hour is one more than the length of our string. And similarly, if the customer for this hour is y, then we'll update the good customer served by 1. After checking through all the possible closing hours, we'll return our answer. Let's submit our solution. As you can see, our solution is accepted. If you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If this video was helpful, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.